Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Beavers. Boop, doo, 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 doo. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But no, for real, welcome to my channel. I do beauty and mental health. Um, I have not been on YouTube in a very, very long time. However, y'all believe me. Ooh, y'all believe me in my DMs to getting back on YouTube. And I'm actually really excited to get back on YouTube. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love conversations. I love talking. I love talking about hot points. Um, I just love being silly. I love being sassy, all of that. But today, I really just kind of wanted to sit down, do my makeup and talk about healing and yeah we're gonna talk about healing and how in the, the past videos how I thought I was healing and how I wasn't actually healing and we're gonna we're gonna get into it get it no that's not the song I was talking about but anyway yeah so we're gonna get into it I hope you all enjoy this video I hope you all get something out of it maybe learn a little something about me and if all fails you get to see a cute makeup look and learn my makeup techniques all right so thanks for watching let's go okay so we're gonna get into the brows let's see y'all why is my makeup not even over here how am i gonna get in the brows and my makeup not even over here hold on sometimes i do wonder like girl like are you all there <laughs> no <laughs> but okay i would say healing is hard bro like i did not realize how hard healing is until I hit rock bottom and really had to accept the fact that there's so many things contributing to the fact of why I am not progressing and healing in the way I want. And I will always speak towards like environment. Um, but it really was to the point of like, yeah, environment, but when are you going to like re really truly truly remove yourself from those environments and not just like go on a trip but so my healing process kind of really changed and drastically looked different for me once I realized like baby girl like stop waiting on other people to change stop waiting on other people to change and just get to a space where you're like you know what I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this because I kept finding myself, I kept finding myself in situations where I was like, yo, I'm still mad, hurt, or they are not treating me the way I want to be treated. And how, how long are you going to beg? That is family members or whether it's your relationship, whether that's friendships. And I just found myself getting so exhausted and so tired and I'm only 24 but my birthday about in like a month <laughs> but like I'm only 24 and I'm already tired and that's not okay <laughs> that's not okay and I'm gonna go in with concealer now I've been using this paintbrush I actually got um I've been going to Michael's and getting some brushes and they've been working out really well for me like really really well actually so yeah so i had to just accept that i can't i can't keep doing this i can't i can't keep waiting i can't keep waiting for people to treat me the way i i deserve to be treated it's not a feel like um you know my past relationship oh actually i want to put some primer on but I found myself, you know, with past relationships um, and family members getting super drained and super tired. Um, I don't know. I'm not really in the space, I think, you know, coming back on YouTube now um, to like, I don't think I'm there yet to like really, really talk about what these past few years have looked like for me. Um since not being on YouTube, but I really struggled with my relationship with my mom. I struggled with my relationship with my ex-boyfriend. I struggled with relationships with my friendships. And most importantly, I struggled with my relationship with myself. And 
it was very hard for me. I'm doing more talking than makeup. It was very... Y'all, you know what? We're going to finish this. It was, I'm gonna finish what I'm saying and then I'm gonna do the brows and be back. Um, it was very hard for me to accept a lot of the things that were going on in my life um, because those are the people who I felt like shouldn't be kicking me while I'm down, but those were the people kicking me while I was down. And I had to be like, yo, you're a part of those people kicking you down. Like you're kicking yourself down by staying in these environments. Like you're kicking yourself down by not loving yourself enough. You're kicking yourself down by not seeing the beauty in yourself. And not just externally, but internally. Like whether that be your character, your personality, your talent, your skill, your heart. Um, and so I had to choose me and just kind of remove myself from all of that. But we're going to get more into that. I got to finish these brows because if I do brows and talk, because I'm a chatterbox. Um, we be here for forever. So yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the brows are done. Honestly, it didn't take that long. My brows don't take long at all. I literally just conceal underneath. And then I do, oh, I did, like, so I do the, the cinnamon and then after cinnamon, I do medium beige on the lid. And at first I was like, what eyeshadow look do I want to do? But I think I want to do like some red type zhuzh and then um, rhinestone the heck out of my face. Yeah? But oh, oh, also speaking of rhinestoning the heck, we'll, can, we'll get to it more when I'm telling my process or story of healing because I'm not done I'm not done with healing by no means but I'm definitely a lot better than I used to be um TikTok yeah so you can follow me on TikTok I do super 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 fun looks um yeah but we'll get more into that so yeah so healing so like I was saying I'll probably once I get more comfortable in terms of myself and my healing process I think I'm gonna use the Jackie palette I actually like absolutely love this palette and the pigmentation. It's my own it's my only Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, but I just really wanted to support Jackie because I used to watch Jackie's um makeup videos for years and years before I even put a before I even bought an eyeshadow palette or let eyeshadow touch my face. So um I was like, yeah, definitely gotta get me a Jackie palette. Um, so I think I'm gonna go in with edges. No, I'm gonna go in with pinker. Who y'all? I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do with this eyeshadow look. I don't know. I'm gonna go in with pinker. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Oh, that was out. I'm going to zoom in in a bit just so y'all can really see what I am doing. I keep looking over here and I got to remember, I keep telling myself, no, look right there, ma'am. Look right there, ma'am. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go in with pinker and I'm thinking of doing like a little pink or uh, a little moment right there or something. We'll figure it out. But so yes. We're just going to start padding. How about that? So, yeah. So, I guess I'll kind of take y'all through a little bit of my journey of what it looked like for me since I completely just stopped making content. Completely stopped making content. Like, wasn't on, wasn't on YouTube. Like, I wasn't doing anything. Um, so, after college... You know, I was making content about like post-grad depression, which was very real for me. Um, but I also had moved back home. And a little backstory when it comes to, for me moving back home, when I first had, when I first had left, for college, I'm over here focusing like, okay, so what are we really about to do? 
Um, but when I first had left, ooh, this is, this is giving a lot of, it's, yeah. Anyway, it's powdery. It's very powdery, but pigmented. So I'm like trying to be super duper gentle. Um, when I first had left for college, I was that kid that was like counting down to go to college. Like, get me out of this goddamn house. Please, please get me out of this house, I beg. Um, I was counting down, I was so excited. But it was not, it still wasn't the freedom I wanted. My mom was turning off my cell phone, you know, checking my phone, call logs, you know, it was just like miserable. Like our relationship was just very like, I felt like I couldn't have a life of my own. Like it was very controlling. When I first got my boyfriend, like she had got her, this man's phone number from my call log, y'all. She was like, that looks like that should be him. And so that just became like super exhausting. And you know, my relationship throughout college was just like very abusive. You know, a lot was going on with that relationship, which I honestly don't even feel like talking about that man because he just makes me want to throw the fuck up. But, um, but maybe another day we can talk about like, relationships and what domestic abuse looks like or dating violence looks like on both ends and the different parts and those different components of what that looks like but so um throughout that I just I crumbled I crumbled I was in psychiatric institutes um I'm not really open about it I don't really talk about it but um, I started practicing self-harm and I have cuts all over my left leg. Um, I was just always crying, I was depressed. And then I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, which I talked plenty about in my previous uh, YouTube video. Yeah, so, um, so following all of that, I feel like I'm just rambling and going left field. But anyway, like it was just a mess. I graduate college, I moved home. After college, complete shit show, I crumbled even more, I crumbled even more, and it was like, I thought I was healing, and I was crumbling, I thought I was healing, I was crumbling, and blah, 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 and it just got worse and worse. Um, finally, I was like, I can't, I can't, and so I came back, like, I ended up just coming back to my grandma's, being at my grandma's, um, I, I see the vision, I see the vision. I see the vision. But anyway, so then I ended up coming back to my grandma's. Um, so I'm going in with the Knicks Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And then I'm also going to go in with the Fenty. This is my magic duo. This is my magic duo. Um, so I ended up coming back to my grandma's and getting a job. Hated that fucking job. And... That's fine or whatever, though. So I ended up getting a job at, um, as an assistant manager and leaving my job at the hospital because I was like, who am I to give people mental health advice? If you didn't know, I got my degree in neuropsychology, but I was like, who am I to give people mental health advice when I literally don't even know how to help myself right now, right? So after... After that, I, um, that's when the healing really got started. Once I got away from everybody, I, I kid y'all not, like, that's when I was like, it's fucking go time. And I would cry, y'all, because once I removed myself from my mom, once I, my, I removed myself from that man, I felt myself coming back, I kid you not. And not fully, but it was just the little things, the little things in life, the little enjoyments in life. Um, and it wasn't easy. I'm not saying I was like cold turkey. Like I had my, my moments where I would, you know, it wasn't cold turkey at all, but I felt myself coming back, I kid you not. Y'all see that color match? I know y'all see that color match. 
Um, I got into um, therapy and I got serious about my meds as someone with bipolar disorder. I got super duper, super duper, super duper serious about my meds and was like, you, you, you need to really be serious about yourself if you don't want to keep waking up and feeling like you can't live another day. So I got a psychotherapist um, and it's a black woman and absolutely amazing. It was like, just, I needed, 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 I needed her. Oh my goodness. I started taking care of myself. Um, I got my teeth fixed. I broke my teeth off when I was in fourth grade. So I had a new shiny, sh my shiny teeth in me got fixed. I got my, I got new contacts. Um, got my glasses fixed. Um, got on like um, a medic, I have my mood stabilizer, but I got a medication for my PTSD and like intrusive thoughts and stuff like that. Um, I started rebuilding myself and like being team Sarah, team Sarah, um, and removing myself from all these people and ignoring what other people had to say. I started doing makeup. I started just exploring the things I love to do. I removed friendships out of my life that were just making me sad or making me rethink myself or where it's like, why you shouldn't always, there's a, there's a difference between being annoyed with the friend and like always just them like truly ignoring your, uh, annoying your spirit. Um, so I removed like those types of friendships out of my life. Um, I'm going ahead with some concealer. I'm going to actually just use the same two concealers that I use for my brows. Well, no. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I am. Well, no, am I? I am. Um, so I started, you know, really being, like I said, like being Team Sarah. Like, I started playing in makeup more. I never used to contour, and I was like, hold on, maybe that's why I look like I look. Like, I would like revamp, like, brow routine change, like, contour, blush, like, a bitch was turning into a bad bitch. Like, she was learning how to be a bad bitch. Like, okay. Like, I started running, y'all. When I tell you running changed damn near how I saw myself, I would feel so good about myself. I would feel so good about myself, like, three miles a day. Um, and I'm not saying it was easy. It wasn't easy by any means. Like, I would cry, like... I still cry sometimes where I'd be like, yo, I miss some people, but I miss myself even more. Ain't that something? I missed myself even more where I was like, you don't miss these people or do you want to miss these people or do you want to miss yourself? Like, who do you want to miss? You know? So, um, I got to a space of just kind of like, you know what? They didn't give a fuck what they was doing. They didn't give a fuck. You didn't, they didn't give a fuck. You were the only one. Like, you were the only one. So I had to really, really check myself. I really just had to accept, like, they didn't care, so why should you? They didn't care, so why should you? Um. So... Those are kind of some of the things. And then, that's when I had really, I'm going to have to relay this eyeshadow because I want it to be dramatic. I want it to be big and dramatic around here with the rhinestones. And the, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, yeah, those are some of the steps I took. And that's when I also started dibble dabbling in TikTok. Like, so during quarantine... During quarantine, I was, like, playing around with TikTok. Nothing, like, I wasn't doing no makeup or nothing. Because, you know, I didn't have nothing. Um, I ordered a ring light to my grandma house. And kind of rebuilt some makeup, bought some makeup. 
different things like that to start playing around with. I just started playing around with TikTok and was like, I really just want to try. Like, I just want to try and I just want to do it for me. So I really just, I don't know. I don't, I just took a leap. That's what it was. Like, I really just, I had new editing. I knew makeup to an extent. I enjoyed, you know, skits and different things like that. So I just, I just took a leap. I, I really did. And that was what really, the combination of all of that is what really catapulted um, my healing process. All of the stuff I just explained and described really, really catapulted my healing process. I am going to see it this with um I'm using the fit me I'm gonna use um light light medium all of that kind of was like a nice combination of my healing process and then it like it all starts to it all starts to sponge down it all starts to add up it all starts to build up um and then I would say around December, um, one of my favorite people came back into my life. He's been like super helpful in my healing process just for the mere fact of like, sorry, I was looking at something. Just for the mere fact of just like him as a person, but also just like, I don't know if it, hmm. Hmm. I don't know, <laughs> but okay, so I do know, but I don't feel like getting into all that. I was gonna be talking for forever. <laughs> like, let's figure out what we're doing with the eyeshadow. So here's the T. Oh, let me zoom out. So here's the T, cause it's my YouTube, right? This my YouTube, so I can do whatever I want. I'm taking a break, and I'm about to make a waffle, cause I'm hungry, y'all, and I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging. I feel like the video was good. It was getting good, but we gotta take a commercial break. Okay, we're back. We're fed. It was good as fuck, by the way. And ooh, and while I was eating, I was watching The Crown. The the the. Uh, the story kind of built around Queen Elizabeth, and I absolutely love that show. I'm on season three or four, I can't remember. Whichever the latest one is on Netflix. But, um, we're back, we're fed, and we're rhinestoned. We're back, we're fed, and we're rhinestoned. Okay, so now, uh, we talked about healing. I kind of talked about my process and how we got here, different things like that. Um, but I just want to say, like, to anybody who is in their healing process, to please be patient with yourself and give yourself grace. Um, I'm about to bronze with, uh, the Sunstalker Mocha Mommy. I actually really, really, really love this bronzer a lot. Um, it's the shit. It's the shit. Oh my gosh, once I started bronzing and blush, it changed. I literally just put bronze everywhere, I'm telling y'all. Be patient with yourself. Give yourself like the same amount of grace you would give somebody else who you felt was, you know, going through a really tough time. Um, understanding like sometimes it takes Sometimes it takes more than just like that one situation. Like for instance, like if it's a parent, that stuff is hard. Walking away from situations with parents is very, very hard. You know, long-term relationships. And sometimes even just simply knowing the Ooh, y'all see what that bronzer did to me? I know y'all see what that bronzer did. But, um, 
Those situations when it comes to parents and different things like that are very, 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 very difficult to walk away from. I have a mustache. I swear I didn't shave my face and it's showing, I'm telling on myself. But you have to give yourself grace the same you would like if someone came to you and was like, hey, I'm going through this and you know your story. Like, you know if you listen, go ahead and blend that out. I feel like it's giving ugh, harsh. Uh, okay, I'm going in with the Anastasia, the blush trios. Oh my God. These are some of my favorites. These are some of my favorites. Um, I absolutely adore. I'm going in with Cocktail Party. Um, you have to give yourself that grace because High key, no one else in the world is going to. Nobody. Nobody. I smile when I do blush. Cause I be like, how can you not be happy? It's blush. It's blush. And then we're gonna do brows. Brow gel. I use the Benefit, the 24 hour brow setter. And I love this brow gel. Um. Oh, I do not like my brows. Hold on. Oh no, honey. You know what I didn't do that I normally do with my brows? I didn't set my brows. So I'm gonna literally, I'm just gonna test. This is more of just kind of like a, is it because you didn't, I'm gonna set it with this. I have the Fenty. Um, this is the banana. And I'm like, I didn't set the brow. Look it better. We'll see. So I was talking earlier in the video. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that benefit. That's just the goof proof. I'm gonna just set that one after. And this one was set before. Battle of the brow process, I guess. Um yeah so that's that what are we gonna do with our hair y'all but we're gonna worry about that later we're going to put a little something i'm not done with the eyes we're gonna really we're gonna smudge a little of this um I don't know which color I want to smudge on the bottom. I'm going to do the wigglies, the what's on my lid. What's on my lid and put that on the bottom. Also, I just want to say um, I'm a yes man type of person. So when it came to me starting to pick myself, that was very hard. And I struggle with it. I literally still struggle with putting myself first. I struggle with standing up for myself. Every day I struggle with it. Sometimes I like really, really struggle with like just telling people no and sticking to like what's right. I'm using the NYX, um, I'm using the Fix It Lavender. This is the, the MAC. The MAC one, and I love, I love lavender. It's literally just relaxing. Like, how can you not? Be about to. Okay, so I'm gonna put lashes on, fix my hair, and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. Y'all, I look so cute. Oh my God, I look so cute. Follow me on TikTok, y'all. I do looks like this all the time on TikTok. Um, I know I didn't show you all my rhinestone technique. Literally, the rhinestones I use, I get from Michaels. And I know they still sell them at Michaels. Like, they sell these at Michaels, these little rhinestones. And then I use, 
um, any lash glue. Um, this I used the the I Envy Kiss Lash Glue, and you can use a little wax stick, or if you don't have a wax stick, you can always use tweezers. It's just the tweezers take a little bit more time. It's a little more tedious. Um, but other than that, that's what I do, and just kind of I just sat there and placed the rhinestones kind of where I wanted to place them and you can do that anywhere you saw how I like put the color on I always believe like just put some color on your lids put some lashes on and you you're good to go honey like I swear I swear um but yeah it felt good to kind of make a YouTube video and I just kind of put my hair in a little bun because I had no idea what I wanted to do with it I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I feel super rusty making YouTube videos, but I definitely want to get back at it. My makeup game is so different compared to when I first started YouTube. So I think it's really dope to kind of see my growth as a, a makeup artist, a content creator, or anything like that. Um, if you want to see more creative, fun, crafty things in terms of makeup, I'll definitely be back on YouTube. Um, I love having conversations and talking. If there's any topics or anything, questions, I definitely want to get into that stuff with you all. I hope you all have a really good day, night, evening, whenever you watch the video. I'm going to try my best to get it out as soon as possible. I post TikToks on the weekends. Um... And I'll be sure to get more YouTube and IGT, IG, IGTV <laughs> content out to you all. And as I always say, make your self-care a lifestyle and have a good one, y'all.